All right, guys and girls, we are in FL Studio right, ne uh, right near. Right now, you are listening to me through the camera's microphone. All right, so what we are going to do right now is go into our options, go to audio settings, and bam. Here we'll have the device. For this, I'm using FL Studio uh, ASIO, and I'll explain why after. But right now, FL Studio ASIO, if we click here, the show ASIO panel, we will get our little box here that shows us our buffer size as well as the input and output. This hard clip output at zero decibel, otherwise limited will be applied. I would rather keep that selected on so it'd be as realistic instead of pushing down. So yes. Now the reason why we have our buffer size is because we need a way to read what is coming through and give us time to apply the sound. So this is the rule for buffer size. The more to the left you go, the less latency you will have. Latency is basically a lag in simple terms. But the more left you go, less latency, but you will have more of a higher chance to get what is known as underruns. Now underruns is right here, you can see. This is going to be the little clicks and glitches and pops and <coughs> sounds you hear if the uh, program does not read the sounds quickly enough for your buffer speed, your buffer size. Now the opposite is going to the right. This is going to give it more time to process sounds. However, it will give you more latency and with more latency, you'll have less underruns, less clicks. Now the reason why we'll do that is if you want to hear sounds perfectly while playing back. In parentheses, you can see right here, 12 milliseconds. That's how long it'll take for the sound to uh, react, for us to hear it. So if I go here, I'm gonna unmute this. Now you can hear me through the microphone inside of FL Studio. If you hear that electrical noise, that is because I'm using a uh, monster cable, one eighth little headphone port to go into my audio interface in my PC, and that, along with all this other electrical interference, is going to give that. Anyways, yeah. But notice how you hear me right now. I'm going to put this microphone that you hear right now onto the left side, and I'm going to put the microphone from my camera on the right, right side. side. So, so now you can hear the difference between the two sounds. Okay, so. That's just for a zero latency test, you could say. Now, I'm going to click 256, and you can hear it may sound a bit closer to being equal. All right, now I have 256 selected. You can hear both the left and the right and compare it. It is a bit more closer to aspect, I guess you could say. Notice I don't have any underruns for some reason. It's mostly because I'm using only the mic. If I have more plugins in, that's when I'll have a clicky problem issue. Um, I could test that after, but we'll see. You, you could, could tell, tell a difference, difference now. 47 milliseconds. Now, now notice, notice how you hear me on the uh, mic side, the camera mic, mic. I believe I said the right side. Faster than the one on the left. In, in fact, fact, you'll hear way of a lag. So, so yeah. This, this is better if you want, want to play sounds. Matter of fact, if I hit play in the you know, FL Studio, I'm going to do that. Look, Look at the lag over here, here. In, in comparison, comparison to, to 256. 256. Look how fast that sound is processing. and Look how fast this is moving. So hopefully with this, you understand more about the buffer size. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and try it with a project open and see how horrible this goes. I don't really have a problem when it comes to recording or speaking in the microphone while I have a program filled with sounds inside. I have, let's see, I have Citrus, I got Harmer, the 3X Oscillator, and I think another Citrus there. So yeah, nothing really bad. All right, guys and girls, now notice why I didn't use ASIO in the first place. Because if I want to lower the buffer size and it's too low for what it can process, aka like 256 or something, or 226, it will not really work out. So notice I'm 448 right now, samples, I go to 11. And yeah, um, dropping it down, notice 224. Yo, 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 you, you see how it's cutting? Right now, I'm in the camera microphone. Notice how it's cutting and jittery. It's not even playing nice. I'm going to go hit play. 
So you see that? That is an issue. So I'm going to go here to 256, which is 6 milliseconds again. I'm going to hit play. And bam, just like that. So I don't want you guys and girls to go over here in ASIO panel. Because, yeah, look, look, it, it tells you right here. Lower latency, reduce glitches. So, yes. Anyways, I'd rather use FL Studio ASIO in most cases. In most cases, so, yeah. All right, hopefully this video helped you guys and girls in understanding a bit more about the latency as well as how to fix it. And I did say uh, if you want, I'll show you a method how to record without hearing yourself. When you're in the microphone, let me just close this. When you're in the insert with the microphone, just click here. Bam. You can't hear me in the uh, software anymore. And that is definitely useful if you don't want to hear latency if you, for some reason, have that issue. Hopefully you guys and girls like this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this or learned or you like me for whatever reason. Subscribe if you want, by the way. Um, and social links you'll probably see at the top or at the right, depending on how lazy I am. Thank you for watching once again. It is your boy, Justin Omoe. And with that being said, peace. I'm out.